Hello and welcome all you volleyball fans to another installment of YSN Live Volleyball. We are here at the friendly confines of Austin Town Fitch High School in a premier battle in a matchup between the Austin Town Fitch Falcons volleyball team and the Crestview Lady Rebels volleyball team. Fitch coming in 16 and 2 on the season. Crestview 18 and 1. Riley Simons starts things off with the serve for the Lady Falcons. Jordan pushes it to Folkwine trying to get over. Jordan on the first touch gets it to Auer though on the other side who promptly picks up the kill and an initial 1-0 lead for Crestview. Let's take a look at the Lady Rebels lineup. Grace Auer, Katie Lissy, Ashley Hodge, Abby M, Jelena Auer, Madison Davis, and Emily Downey, the libero on the other side for the Falcons. Riley Simons, Kylie Folkwine, Afton Roby, Jordan Smith, Jocelyn Jordan, Jordan Binion, and the libero is Lillian Diltz. Afton Roby trying to get it over. Another swing and the kill this time from Abby M. One for Auer, one for Emsch. Both kill leaders, top two for the Lady Rebels going into this one. Both over 200 kill getters so far in the season. Hour with the serve, nice serve, Dilts to Simons as Folkwine tries to push it over on three touches. Crestview can't get the swing to cross as Fitch gets on the board. They're back within one. Grace Hour, triple-double machine 200 plus in the kill and dig department. Over 300 assists this season. And a nice serve by Kylie Folkwine. Call it an ace and a tie game. Folkwine, ace leader this year for the Falcons and she's really been picking up steam as of late as Folkwine has registered now 40 aces on the season after that one. Pushing it over, Hour on the swing. Emsch, Dilts underneath it. Simons keeps it alive. Dilts on the swing, back row. Lady Rebels feed it to the middle. Emsch is able to eat. And a 3-2 lead for Crestview. Here in set number one, standard. Five set match, first to three wins. Sets one to three will be to 25 points. Set four if necessary to 25, and set five also if necessary would be to 15 all sets. Win by two extra points will be used to determine if needed. Off the swing of Jocelyn Jordan, we're back to even at three apiece. Jocelyn Jordan, the kill leader in Falcon history, 1,028 she came into today with, the only 1,000 kill getter in Falcons history. 3-3 three, three the tie. Auer gets it to Emsch who tries to tip it over. Emsch on the swing, Folkwine under it. Simon sets up, Jordan Smith attacks the back row. Emsch pushing it, near side on the swing, in the air. Folkwine was able to get it, but it falls off of the Falcons. Crestview back in front. JV squads went three sets. The Falcons taking it two to one. Winning set one and set three. Crestview taking set two, 26-24. And Crestview going up by two here in set one on the varsity stage, 5-3. Crestview coming off their one lone loss this season against the Girard Indians. And that was a straight set sweep by Girard as Lady Indians have compiled a plethora of big wins as Jocelyn Jordan has compiled a plethora of big kills on the season. Over 330 she came into today with. Adds another to her total. Jordan Smith on the serve. Binion goes right back to the attack and ties the game up. Jordan Binion. Been utilized a lot, front row net defense, and has proven to be effective against some of the best. First touch goes haywire, so does the second one. Third one won't cross the fence, and Fitch picks up a lead, 6-5. Jordan Smith, one of the leaders of this JV squad back in the 21 season. Free ball attempt now. Simons to Jocelyn Jordan on the swing. Able to keep it alive. Grace Hour 
Sets up Elena Hour on the swing. Riley Simons tries to keep it alive, bangs into the net and falls in Falcon territory. Half a dozen apiece, each squad each way here in set one. Serve from Emsch, right up in the air. Simon sets up Jocelyn Jordan, who clips it at the front of the net. Other side, Grace Auer has it go right up in the air off of Jordan Smith. Jocelyn Jordan on another swing, trying to tip it over. Point awarded to Crestview. They're back in front. Seven to six. Abby Emsch. Again to serve. M standing at six foot, three inches tall as she picks up a critical ace to put Crestview back in front by two. Set one, always huge to take in any number of set volleyball matches. Trying to get that momentum initially out of the gate. Nice serve attacking. Folkwine got underneath it. Jocelyn Jordan splits the defense at the net. Picks up a kill and gets Fitch back within one. Eight, seven. Crestview in front. Fitch looking to get back into it off the serve of Jocelyn Jordan. Second touch, Elena Hour. Grace swings it over. Kylie Folkwine first touch. Folkwine off the swing. Hour gets underneath it. Setting up back row. Emsch on the swing. Bit too strong for the middle hitter of Crestview. And again, we are back to even at eight apiece. Jocelyn Jordan. Emily Downey Libero underneath it. Point goes to Crestview, reclaiming the advantage. No excuse me saying tipped. And the point to the Falcons. So switch that on the scoreboard. 9-8, Fitch in front. First referee making the call. Tipped off the Lady Rebels. Give the serve to the Falcons. Jocelyn Jordan with the lead. 9-8, Austin Town. Jocelyn Jordan, nice serve. Keeping it up. Pushing it over, Grace Hour looking for the open floor. Riley Simons does a great job keeping it alive, sending it over, Jocelyn Jordan. Measuring up the swing, Grace Hour, nice block by Binion. Not a block registered wise, that time it is though as Jordan Binion picks up the block officially as a stat. Picking up the point, 10-8 Fitch. And that's the big thing about Jordan Binion. Never stops working. Near that net defensively. Trying to tip it. Riley Simons, good awareness to Diltz. Swinging, tipped at the net. Again, the swing by Folkwine on the outside. Grace Hour gets set up. Grace Hour finds a kill. Keeps it inside of the near side sideline. And gets Crestview back in one. No clear leader really has been determined through these first two sets or first set, I should say, as back and forth. We are even again. And I believe the sixth occurrence now where we have been tied here in set number one. Simons to Folkwine, bangs it off at the net. Downey underneath it with a second touch. Jordan Smith, Simons, Folkwine on the swing off the Rebels. Lead back for the Falcons. Austin Town Fitch 16 and two this season. Compiling big wins. Both these teams conference winners as well this year. As Crestview has added another conference championship to their collection. Fitch has now won three AAC championships in a row and what a kill. Off the Rebels. Deadlocked at 11. Emily Downey to serve for the Lady Rebels. Dilts to Simon, swinging it over. Folkwine finds the floor. 
Big kill for Kylie Folkwine. Twelve eleven, Austin Town in front. Back to the top of the serve order, and Simons Downey on the initial touch. Our looking for the open floor, and so good at that is Grace Hour and her accuracy just pushing it and expanding those defenses to their limit. At time found where the Falcons were not, were even at a dozen. Grace Hour now to serve. Top of the serve order. Our 90 aces on the season she came into today with. Simons, oh! Wiley Riley sneaks one past him. Faked him out on the setup. Picks up the kill and the lead for Fitch. Folkwine, ace leader for Fitch. On the serve, right up in the air. Hour on the second touch, measuring it up. Elena Hour gets it over. Free ball attempt for the Falcons. Jordan Smith, the one set up on the swing. And Jordan Smith puts the Falcons in front by two. Nice setup by a very young Falcons team that has done nothing but impress all season long. Multiple freshmen getting quality varsity time and doing nothing but impressing. Riley Simons, the new single season assist leader in Falcon history, came into today at 586, tracking down 600 assists all time. That one stays wrong side of the fence for Fitch, and Crestview picks it up. Back within one, the Rebels. Coach Alicia Hour making the substitution for Alyssa Smotherman. Smotherman. A serving specialist with 22 aces off the Rebels bench this season. Right back to it. Diltz gets underneath it again. Diltz tries to touch it a third time. It falls in for a kill. We are even once again 14 apiece. Falkwine, Simon sets up, Jocelyn Jordan clips it off the net, gets the lead right back, 15-14. The battle continues. Another change of lead, another tie broken. Afton Roby, one of the middle hitters on this Austin Town squad behind the service line, Roby. Down he got underneath it, Empsch tried to feed it in. It's a folk wine swing from Jordan. A lot of velocity behind it. Downey on the second touch. Elena Hour pushes it over. Folk wine. Jordan. Jocelyn Jordan clips it off one of the Rebels and gets the Falcons in front by two. Folk wine. Expected to be a three sport athlete for this Falcons team. Don't just expect to see her on the volleyball court as Jordan Binion, second big block for Binion in the set timeout. Crestview as Fitch takes a three point lead, 17 14. First, first timeout for the Rebels. They'll be left with one in the set. Fitch with two. We'll take a quick one as well. Thank our friends over at Greenwood Chevrolet in Austin Town. Every customer has a story, whether it's buying a car for the first time, helping them get approved, or finding the perfect car for their budget. I'm proud that people trust me with their story. I'm Tracy, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you, only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Right back here in set one, 17-14 is the score as the Austintown Fitch Falcons in the lead. Falcons came into today 16 and 2 in matches overall. Crestview 18 and 1. A little bit deeper look into it. Fitch is 49 and 12 in sets on the year coming into today. Crestview 54 and 4. Opponents wise, Crestview's opponents total 193 wins to 166 losses on the year. Fitch 165 in the win department, 171 in the loss department. Serving, Afton Roby, 17-14. A 
Austin Town in front. Crestview looking to push it over and called four touches for the Rebels. One too many. Falcons now up by four. Largest lead for Fitch in the set. Roby attacking Downey the libero. Hour on the second touch. The swing as Roby got underneath it. Timing it up. What a kill. Jocelyn Jordan. Makes it look so easy. What execution, what elevation. The finish, the follow through. Five point advantage for Austin Town. Right up in the air, no it drops in Rebel territory off the serve of Afton Roby. 20 to 14, Falcons in front. Brackets are out. Teams have decided where they are going. As right up in the air, Simons, Jocelyn Jordan off the swing. Jordan pushes it right back off of the block. What awareness. Never giving up on the play. Seven point lead. Falcons build on it. Timeout. Crestview, their last of the set. Fitch looking to close out. Crestview looking to make the comeback. We'll be back out of this timeout right after this. The environment in the hospital can be very intense for a patient. Being able to put a smile on their face brightens up my day. I go to Youngstown State University and my passion is nursing. What I love about studying nursing is that it takes you out of the classroom and into the lab. It's really hands-on. The professors here push you to be your absolute best. So if you want it, you gotta work hard for it. I am so excited about my future. I'm Shantiana, and I am why I'm proud. Fitch trying to close in on an opening set victory where the Rebels making a comeback attempt, at least trying to. On the swing, bangs around the rafters. Binion sets it up. Jocelyn Jordan finishes it up. What a kill. What a setup. Following it off the ceiling. Jordan Binion, the centerpiece. Whether it's blocks on the net defensively or coming up with a clutch setup. Give her the assist. Jocelyn Jordan tacks on another kill. Fitch needs three. That time they sneak it past Binion and Jordan. Great job by the Rebels too. Probably two of the hardest to try to sneak it past defensively on the net. Rebels able to find it and perhaps start their comeback trail. Don't have many room for mistakes, but send a great assist, an ace over on the serve. Back within six, a half dozen the deficit for the Lady Rebels. Behind the service line, Madeline Black. Baker's dozen on the ace count this season. Simons, Jordan Smith tried to swing it over and couldn't get it across the net. Four touches called on the Falcons. Crestview tightening the lead right now. Back within five are the Rebels. Madeline Black again to serve. And oh, what a serve and an ace. Jocelyn Jordan stepped out of the way of it, thought it was going out, keeping it in. Another ace, 14 on the season for Black. Timeout, Coach Bartlett and the Falcons using their first in the set. 22-18, Fitch in front. We're getting down to the closing moments of set one. Ty Bartell, YSNlive.com. We'll be right back. Locally owned and operated, Sheely's relaxed shopping experience means browsing and lounging is always encouraged. Find Flex Steel and more at Sheely's Furniture and Appliance because the best things in life happen at home. Welcome back, everybody. Just a four point advantage for the Austin Town Fitch Falcons here in set one. 
Crestview on the comeback trail. Looking to arrive at an even game, that one. Little bit too strong on the serve as Fitch needs two now to close out the set. Jordan Smith to serve. Smith on the elevation, tipped off the Rebels and it drops in. Falcons playing now for set point. Jordan Smith behind the service line, Fitch up by a half dozen, needing one for the set win. Looking to drop it in, Emsch underneath it, the setup from Auer, Emsch swings it, Emsch gets it off one of the Falcons and keeps the set alive for the Rebels. Crestview back within five and don't think for a solitary second that the Rebels can't rattle off five quick points and even this thing right back up. That one though tips off the net in an unfortunate serving error. Concludes this one at 25 to 19. Austin Town winner here in set number one. We have a brief intermission in between sets as the Falcons take a 1-0 set lead. Set two and all the action to be back right after this on YSNLive.com. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money, stay close to home. Apply today by visiting kent.edu slash trumbull. Hi, this is Zell Bush. Hi, this is Tom Flynn. Hi, this is Steve Rossetto. Hi, this is Ryan Miller. Hi, this is Rich Sakui from WRS Wealth Advisors. With our combined 80 years of experience, WRS Wealth Advisors are the area's premier wealth and retirement specialists. Call 330-965-0370 to learn more about our individual and corporate financial planning services. Or visit WRSWealth.com. Go Raiders. Go Dawg. Go Cats. Go Dogs. Go Tigers. Your teams work hard and give it all they've got. Well, so does ours. Because 21 Sports and YSN give you extra effort when covering local sports. 21 Sports and YSN, winning coverage of our Valley's teams. You're here to be part of something bigger, to make things happen. For you, college is about knowledge being shared, and learning experiences that aren't limited to the classroom. On campus, you want to matter. It's about engaging every day, building relationships with students, with mentors, with the community, in the heart of a reinvented city. We are that something bigger. We are Youngstown State University and proud. Hi, I'm Colin Chupa. And I'm Kelsey Clem from K-Squared Marketing. Our boutique marketing firm specializes in media planning and buying, public relations, event marketing strategies, and strategic sponsorships. We can integrate our services with your existing game plan, or we can be your entire marketing team. Your goals, our game plan. Let's, Let's win, win together. together. Call K-Squared Marketing at 330-623-623. 2730 or visit ksquared.marketing to learn more. Welcome back everybody. Start of set 2 here in Austin Town Fitch High School as the Falcons Taking set one, 25 to 19, and they'll grab an early set two advantage. one nothing off the serving error by Crestview. Back and forth battle ensued for the majority of set number one. Two teams drawing even several times in the opening set, but Fitch grabbing the first two as Simons with a good serve sends the Rebels scrambling on offense. 
Simons top of the serve order for the Falcons. Also two records now, most assists in a match and most assists in a season. Fitch now takes a 3-0 lead to open up the set. Picking up right where they left off momentum-wise in between sets. The three-minute intermission not phasing the Falcons. Simons on the serve. Nice touch on it. Downey, though, gets underneath it. The setup for the swing. Elena Auer, too strong. Wasn't tipped, they say. As the point goes to the Falcons, closest one to it was Diltz. Did not look like she made contact with it, though. As that's what the officials rule. And a 4-0 run to start from Austin Town. Attacking Downey the libero. Setting up near side swing right up in the air as whistle is blown. And the running into the net is called by second referee and the first score of the set for the Rebels. Sending Alyssa Smotherman, serving specialist, behind the service line. Nice drop on that serve, set up from Simon Swing. Folkwine bangs it off one of the Rebels. They keep it alive, pushing to the open floor. Abby Emsch, another kill for the Lady Rebels. Another point, I should say, as Emsch adds another kill to her season total. As she's well over 300 now, came into today with 297. Serve though by Smotherman. Catches too much of the fence on its trek. And falls shy of the mark, 5-2. Folkwine, ace leader for Austin Town now to serve. Good serving percentages that come from both Simons and Folkwine, both freshmen on this Austin Town squad. Oh, what a connection that has been all night. Simons finding the sweet spot in Jocelyn Jordan's swing. And Jordan executing on it time and time again. Picks up another 6-2 Austin Town. Folkwine, a rare misfire on one of her serves, allows Crestview to get it back. Crestview looking for a counter run. Haven't put, been able to put together a scoring run yet in the set. Looking to start right here. Nice serve just getting across the top of the net. Swing from Smith. Point though goes to Crestview. Four touches being called by our first referee. And Crestview back within two. Continuing the climb back. Madeline Black on the serve. Simon sets up Roby in the middle for the swing. No one came to the aid of the Rebels after the first touch. Looked like Elena Hour made first contact, but it drops in Crestview territory. 7-4. Elena Hour, just another hour that is going through the Crestview program that has been nothing but special. Another one of these freshmen, too, that have bursted onto the scenes in the volleyball world and has been immediately impactful. Another setter, too. Both hours able to set Really provides a lot of dynamic offensive looks for the Rebels. Swing again at another kill. Jocelyn Jordan just keeps on keeping on adding to the Falcons' all-time record. Every kill she picks up just keeps on extending the all-time record in kills here at Austin Town Fitch. Oh, another nice job, Jordan Binion. Couldn't follow up on it, though, as Crestview picks up the point. But Binion providing a lot of fits for the Crestview offense as getting her hand in on a lot of swings and sending it right back to the Rebels, forcing them to adjust on defense. Double touches called on the Falcons, and Crestview has all of a sudden closed that deficit to just two points with the serve. Emsh on it. Jocelyn Jordan just brings it down, though. With great force, Jocelyn Jordan extends the lead back to three. Jordan Smith now to serve. Leading by three for the Falcons. Now we're getting underneath it. Grace sends it over. Free ball attempt. Falcons, Jocelyn Jordan. Again, off of the swing. And she is just in some type of zone right now. 
feeling it as not many answers defensively. Crestview trying to beat her to the punch. Great swing though by the Rebels offense. And Crestview stopping another run by the Falcons. Getting the deficit back to three. Serving Elena Hour, the younger, or the youngest, I believe, of all the hours. Wow, good job by Jocelyn Jordan to get underneath it. Jordan Binion got the second touch on it, sent it right back over, setting up for a swing. Again, Binion tried to get underneath it, but a lift is called, I believe, on Binion. So the point goes to Crestview on the violation. Give the serve back to Elena Hour as the Rebels trail by two. Attacking Jocelyn Jordan again, trying to get her with the first touch. Jordan Smith pushes it over, forces Crestview to set up, and Jordan Binion again with a denial. And the Falcons back in front by three. Austintown Fitch has not trailed in this set, has had the lead since the opening score. The setup in the middle. Hour tries to push it out of bounds, wide right of the mark she was intending. As Fitch back up by four. A lot of Falcon athletes here supporting the volleyball team in this big game. As another nice block, Binion and Simons that time near side gets the Falcons in front by five. McKenna Hogan, Sydney Watts, Ayla Ray, Kara Perone, just to name a few. Catch them all in their respective sports in just a few months. Basketball season going to be starting middle of November. And we'll be right back into the spring before you know it. These sports seasons, they fly by. We're already getting ready for week nine of the football season, if you could even believe that. 13 to nine, Crestview. Still trying to chip away from that Falcon lead. Downey on the serve. Jocelyn Jordan got it right back over to the Rebels. And the Rebels just sent it right back to the Falcon side. Clip it off. Jordan get the point. Back within three. Emily Downey to keep the serve for Crestview. Jordan Smith to Binion. Free ball sent over by Folkwine. Hour set up on the swing. Chipped right back to Crestview's side. Pushing it over. Emch to the back row. Jocelyn Jordan pushes it to the front. The swing. Kylie Folkwine. The Falcons triangle. Jordan Simons Folkwine find another kill for Austin Town. 14 to 10. Dilt on the serve, libero in today's contest. Grace Hour, oh, Grace Hour. Clips it off one of the Falcons on its way out of bounds. Picks up the point back within three. Rebels hanging around, not allowing massive advantages by the Falcons to keep on getting built upon as the largest lead by Fitch has stood at four points. Swing, Folkwine. Back row right up in the air. Hour pushes it over. And now Downey sends the free ball to Fitch. Couldn't get it over. Will it cross the net? Yes, Jocelyn Jordan saves it. Sets up for a kill. Oh, the defense. Roby and Folkwine that time at the net. To the back row trying to drop it in. It's a bit too strong as it misses the baseline. 15-11 Fitch. Top of the serve order and Riley Simons. Second time she'll be touching it from the service line in this set. Attacking the libero, Downey. Pushing it over, Madeline Black. Dilts to Simon. Swing, Folkwine clips it off one of the Rebels. It was Elena Hour and the kill for Austin Town. 16-11 timeout, Crestview as Coach Alicia Hour going to talk things over with her team. Falcons lead by five. We'll be right back. Ty Bartell, YSNLive.com. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, folks. We're here in a 16 to 11 Falcons lead in set two. They're leading as well, one set to none over the Crestview Lady Rebels. As if you haven't already seen our 2022 Division I Volleyball Tournament preview, it has been released on YSNLive.com. Catch all the, all the Division I teams and where they will shake out and where they will play, including the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. Again, YSNLive.com for that article. 16-12 as Crestview still has been hanging around, not letting the Falcons take a huge advantage as that one clips just off the top of the net. Little misfire by the setter Simons. Enables Crestview to get back within three. Alyssa Smotherman on the serve. Dilts on that touch to Simon Swing. Oh, finding the kill. Jordan Smith, the junior on the outside, picks up the kill and the four-point lead back for Austin Town Fitch. Jordan Smith, 78 kills on the season she came into today with. Kylie Folkwine, ace queen of the season for Fitch. Simons and Roby both touching it over. Jocelyn Jordan. Little late reaction, still able to get the free ball over, but Crestview bangs it off one of the Falcons' hands on its way out of bounds. And back within three are the Lady Rebels. Crestview just keeps on pushing the issue. Will not allow the Falcons to put together large scoring runs. Jordan Smith looking for that sideline. Crestview denying it, swinging it back over. Underneath it, Simon sets up, swing. As soft touch, tried to float it over. Smith, Simon's on the first touch. Two dilts. Jocelyn Jordan brings it down. 18-14. Falcons back in front by four. Have led the entire set. It's been a close Battle and Crestview has kept it right within this three to four point range the entire set. But Falcons grabbed a four point advantage to start a 4-0 run at the top of the set and have not given up their lead since. Jocelyn Jordan trying to add to it and Jocelyn Jordan is money tonight with another kill. Supreme accuracy. From the outside, hitter Jordan adds another to her total. Falcons by five here in set two, leading by a set 1-0 over Crestview. Swing too strong by the Rebels. And Crestview now leading by six. Second time out forced by Coach Auer, leaving the Rebels with none left here in the set. Crestview looking for a counterattack run as they trail by six. Ty Bartell, YSNLive.com. We'll be right back as we thank our friends over at iSynergy. Hello and welcome back everybody. 20 to 14 Falcons in front here in set number two. They also lead it one set to none over Crestview. As Crestview coming out of their second and final timeout in the set. Fitch still left with two. Afton Roby to serve for the Falcons. Second in the, or excuse me, third in the serve order for Austin Town. Roby, the big middle hitter slash middle blocker for Fitch. On that serve, nice block attempt. Jocelyn Jordan and Jordan Binion underneath it. Roby pushes it to Jocelyn Jordan who sends it over. Hour sets up for the swing and the kill awarded to the Rebels. 
Cut this deficit back to within five. Crestview looking to put together a scoring run. Haven't really been able to do so here in this set. Nice serve. Swing though by Jordan Smith and Jordan Smith clips it off. One of the Rebels on its way to falling in Crestview territory. Smith picks up the point, will get the serve with the lead at a half dozen for Fitch. Downey had that first touch. Elena Auer to Grace on the swing. As nice job by Lillian Dilts to just step in and send over the free ball attempt. Jordan Binion is relentless right now on the net defensively. Great job to keep it alive and they get it over defensively. Falcons not allowing anything to fall. Defense picks up a point, needing three for the set two win. Jordan Smith behind the service line as the junior tacks that back row, pushing it to the front. Elena Auer keeps it near side block. Attempt again, Jordan Binion wrecking havoc, but that time able to sneak it past Lillian Diltz. Diltz was able to get a hand on it, but just a hair too late on the attempt for the reception. As back within six, 22-16. Serve, Elena Auer, the freshman. Simons, Jocelyn Jordan gets it off one of the Rebels. Jackpot Jordan. Money again with the swing, 23-16. Oh, the clip off the net and the ace. As Jocelyn Jordan closes in on 100 aces in her career as well playing for set point. Downey on that first touch. Grace Auer says not yet, at least for the time being with a big kill. Crestview to get the serve back. Has to play no mistake volleyball, at least for right now, trailing by seven to Fitch. Win by two, would have to score seven consecutive without allowing a point by the Falcons. Downey, the libero to serve for Crestview. Gets the serve across, Simon sets up Binion who tries to drop in the set winning point. Free ball attempt coming up for the Falcons, Binion on the first touch, it goes to Folkwine, able to get underneath it, second touch, oh great job by Crestview to keep it alive. Again, Folkwine with the opportunity, can't capitalize on it, and dropping it in. Crestview fights through it, back and forth on that volley, but Crestview comes away the winners and the scores back within six. Downey keeps the serve, looking to continue a run for the Rebels. Nice serve, underneath it, Smith, Simons, Folkwine, bring it down, set. Winning kill, Kylie Folkwine finishes it off. 25-18, your final here in set two as the Austin Town Fitch Falcons take a commanding two-set-to-none lead over the Crestview Lady Rebels. As we'll have a few-minute intermission in between set two and three, we'll be back with the start of set three right after this on YSNlive.com. 21 News delivers the news as it happens using the latest technology from where it happens. On air, online. A Wednesday afternoon weather update. Very dangerous. And on the 21 News social media platforms. I'm on the road right now. 21 News, the Valley's only locally owned source for trusted news since 1953. I love the customers, um, interacting with customers, you know, basically just being there um, even after the sale. If they have a question or if um, they have a problem with their vehicle, I'm here to help them 
make an educated decision. I'm here to educate them on their buying a car. I'm Frank Mascara, and I'm ready to go to Extra Mile for you. Coca's Pizza, your high school football headquarters. Come to pregame with half-off select appetizers in our dining room starting at 5 p.m. Also want to stay for the game? We'll be playing it live. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. The environment in the hospital can be very intense for a patient. Being able to put a smile on their face brightens up my day. I go to Youngstown State University and my passion is nursing. What I love about studying nursing is that it takes you out of the classroom and into the lab. It's really hands-on. The professors here push you to be your absolute best, so if you want it, you gotta work hard for it. I am so excited about my future. I'm Shantiana and I am why I'm proud. Jimmy Sudman here, director of Isle, Purple Cat, and Golden String. We are happy to support YSN and two of my favorite people, Scotty Mincher and Super Dave O'Malley. We are an agency that provides services for adults with disabilities. We infuse humor, passion, and joy into their lives. If you know of any folks with disabilities that need our assistance, please contact us. Rolling right back here into set three as the Austin Town Fitch Falcons one set win away from capturing win number 17 on the season. As Fitch has captured the set one, set one by a score of 25-19, set two 25-18 over the Crestview Rebels. Falcons have the set serve, or the serve I should say, to start set three as Riley Simons looks to open it up. Crestview, with their loss against Girard, ended a 56 match regular season winning streak for Girard, and that dates back to the 2020 campaign. Of course, went undefeated last year in the regular season, opened up. This regular season with 18 straight victories as they open up this set with the opening score. one nothing. Crestview takes a lead after not, able, not being able to capture one in the entirety of set two. Crestview starts off on the right side of the scoreboard. Grace Hour on the serve and picks up too quick for Crestview. Gray Sauer now on the serve with the Lady Rebels leading 2 0. Simons, Jocelyn Jordan clips it off the top of the net. Gray Sauer underneath it. Swing, Dilts, Simons. Swing coming from Jordan Smith, but couldn't get it to drop in bounds as Crestview opens up on a 3 0 run. Folkwine, Simons, Roby looking for the open floor. Still alive, Crestview. Dilt slides in, Simons to Folkwine. Folkwine, though, can't get it to cross the fence. And similar to how Fitch started in set two, Crestview opens up with a 4-0 set lead. Oh, nice serve by Grace Hour. Able to read it, though, off of the touch. Crestview looking to keep it alive, but it takes a trip to the Lady Rebels bench. And Fitch on the scoreboard to give the serve to Kylie Folkwine. Trailing by three to start set number three. 2-0 in the lead as far as set count goes for the Falcons. And a nice swing coming down, Abby Emsch. Puts the Rebels right back up by four. Crestview only lost four sets this season. One to East Liverpool, three to Gerard before coming into today. Fitch able to take two off Crestview to start.
Swing coming from Jocelyn Jordan. Trying to attack the middle that time. Oh, the block again, Afton Roby. This time gets the defensive stand for Fitch. Afton Roby and Jordan Binion. Tandem has been tough to deal with at the net. Roby now to serve. Falcons back within three. Grace Hour sets up on the swing. A little bit too strong on the kill attempt. And Fitch picks up two in a row. Underneath it, Roby was underneath it, but it still drops in Falcon territory as unable to get the second touch on it, Crestview. Extends their lead back to three, gets the serve back. Oh, what a nice serve. Lead back to four, equaling their largest of the set. Nice serve by Madeline Black on the ace. Madeline Black picking up a handful of aces in this match. Substitutions coming in as Falcons get the point on the serving error. Jordan Smith to serve for Fitch. Smith on the serve. Grace Hour sets up Elena on the swing. Smith. Simons, Jocelyn Jordan on the swing, tried to bring it down, keeping it alive, the Rebels, but they can't track it down that time as Fitch able to pick up another point, get back within two. Jordan Smith. Abby Emsch got it over on the swing. Jocelyn Jordan tried to attack back corner. Crestview read it, trying to drop in the floater, the serve, the setup by Simons, the drop in, the kill, Fitch. Trailing by just a point. Jordan Smith behind the serve, sending over on two. Oh, what a nice job, Grace Hour. Snuck it past the Falcon defense. And got Crestview right back in front by two. Put the serve in the hands of Abby Emch. Diltz got underneath it initially. Swinging Jocelyn Jordan. One touch, they got it back over the net. Jordan, though, takes some steam off of it and finds the open floor again with the kills. Back within one, Fitch. Jordan adds another to her total for the night. Right up in the air, swing from Emch, missing the mark, and we're evened up at eight apiece. Fitch with an opportunity, take their first lead of the set with Double J Jackpot Jordan behind the service line. On the reception, a swing now. Oh, what a swing, Grace Hour. Went right at Jocelyn Jordan with it. Reclaim the lead for Crestview. As Grace Sauer shows, she could put some heat behind those swings as well. Elena Hour, younger sister of Grace on that serve. Simon sets up Folkwine. Tips off the basketball hoop on Crestview's side and drops fair. On the Rebel side of things, we're back to even at nine apiece. Second tie of the set. Diltz on the serve. Sent over on two again. That time the Falcons read it, swinging it over. Jocelyn Jordan. Another swing from Crestview. Diltz underneath it. Simon sets up Afton Roby, who brings it down from the middle. Another kill and a 10-9 lead. First lead for Austin Town in the set. Diltz attacking the middle. Feeding the middle. Grace Hour was there waiting to tie this thing back up with a kill.
10-10, evened up, Emily Downey. To serve now for the Rebels. Simons gets it to Roby, and Roby tried to get it back up in the air, but it clips off of her and falls on the wrong side of the fence for Fitch as they give up the lead to Crestview once again. Crestview. Trying to keep the advantage, looking to add to it as they've gotten themselves back in front once again. Swing too strong. One of the rare misfires tonight by Jocelyn Jordan. But Crestview back in front by two now. Downey to serve. Trying to push it over. Folkwine keeping it near the net. Oh, wait a job to just dive and keep it alive. Jordan Smith. As Jocelyn Jordan able to swing it over, force Crestview to keep going with it, and they're able to tip it off a couple Falcon fingers on its way down to the hardwood. Crestview by three. Looking for the swing, Folkwine. Keeping it alive though, Crestview sends over the free ball. Simon sends it over on two, Roby says I got your back. As it comes back over on one, Roby with the kill. Fitch gets the serve back to the top of the order in Riley Simons. Grace Hour to Elena, back to Grace on the swing, tips it off of Roby's hands. Simons to Smith, Smith on the swing. Downey kept it alive. Grace Hour swings it. Afton Roby denies it. Fitch back within one. Simons behind that service line trying to get the Falcons back to even. Folkwine, nice job reading it, measuring it up to send it over. As off the swing, Abby Emsch. Continuing to push the Rebels' lead as they further it back to two. Abby Emsch, over 300 kills on the season. Simons got it to Smith, Smith. Put a ton behind the swing and picked up a point as they say tipped off the Rebels as it goes out of bounds. Fitch back within one. Give the serve back to Folkwine. Nice serve by Folkwine. Grace Hour on that setup. Simons, Dilt, Jocelyn Jordan. Another kill back to even at 14. Kylie Folkwine trying to drop in the serve. Little too strong. Crestview back in front, needing 10 for the set win. Falcons can win it here in set three in front. Two sets to none. Crestview to win this match would need to force a set five. Dilts on the first touch. Simons, Jocelyn Jordan again. On another level. Right now is Jackpot Jordan with the kill. Even at 15, it's a race to 10. Afton Roby now to serve. Downey gets underneath it. Hour comes in with the setup, the swing, the kill. Crestview back in front. Rebels. Avoiding giving up the lead to the Falcons in the later stages of this set. Position themselves back in front, 
Adeline Black to serve. She's picked up a plenty of aces in this match, and she adds another to her night. Timeout, Austin Town, 17-15. Crestview in front. We'll take a timeout as well. Be back right after this on YSNLive.com. We know when it comes to insurance, you have so many choices. But if you're looking for someone who lives in your community, someone who cheers for your community, and someone who works for your community like you're part of our family, well then please let us introduce ourselves. Hi, we're Heiner Insurance. How can we help? You can see these players, get to know these names, get to know these coaches at a more personal level than truly you ever did before. And I think YSN has been a big influential factor in bringing us that uh, level of personal connection that we haven't seen any other company truly be able to do. If my legacy goes down as being the voice of the Austin Town Fitch Falcons, I can hang my hat on that and be proud of it at the end of the day. My name is Ty Bartell, and my sports network is your sports network. Welcome back, everybody, here in set three, 17-15. Crestview in front needing this set to stay alive in the match. That swing by Jordan Smith stays on the Rebels' side of the fence. Free ball opportunity now for Fitch. The setup, the swing, bring it down hard. Jocelyn Jordan, money again with a kill. Back within one, Austin Town. What elevation on the vertical. What velocity on the swing. In a blink of an eye, Jocelyn Jordan gets Fitch back within one. Elena Auer sets up on a swing. Nice swing by Auer. Folkwine on the first touch. Jordan tried to set it up in an awkward position for the swing. Couldn't get it over. 18-16, Crestview in front. Abby Emsch to take over behind the service line for the Rebels. Oh, what a serve by Emsch. Big one. Gets it off of Diltz. Gets the lead back to three for Crestview. That serve, though. Oh, clips off the top of the net. Back to back. Nice serves. Fitch trails by four as Crestview tries to close in on their first set win of the night. Diltz, Simons, Jocelyn Jordan keeps it on Crestview's side with another point for the Falcons. Back within three on the comeback trail. Fitch has been able to tie it a few times in the later portion of the set. Have not been able to take a lead. They'll take a tie if they can get it, but Crestview is continuing to push the issue further their lead. It's back to four, needing four for the set. To serve Elena Hour. Jocelyn Jordan, Simon sets up Folkwine with the kill. As Kylie Folkwine with the kill. Lillian Diltz to serve. Trailing by three is Austin Town. Grace Auer on that swing. Sending it over. Nice job at the net. Fitch trims the deficit to two. Crestview trying to protect it. They need four points for the set to force a set four. Diltz on the serve. Get it back to Emsch on the swing. Emsch, though, bangs it off one of the Falcons and gets Crestview to 22. 22-19. Emily Downey. Jocelyn Jordan to Riley Simons. Kylie Folkwine. Trying to get the Falcons back within two. Riley Simons. Wiley Riley again sneaks one past on the fake out from the setup. Yeah. 
22-20. Falcons trail by two. Crestview needing three for the set win. Bringing down the swing, but it's wide right of the mark. Coach Alicia Hauer wanted it, wanted every inch of it. Timeout being called, wants to talk things over in a close ball game here in set three, 22-21. Crestview leading it, trailing, though, two sets to none to the Falcons. We'll be right back right after this. Your teams work hard and give it all they've got. Well, so does ours. Because 21 Sports and YSN give you extra effort when covering local sports. 21 Sports and YSN, winning coverage of our Valley's teams. Winter, spring, summer, and fall, Mill Creek Metro Parks is your park for all seasons. Make a memory in the park. Plan your visit today at millcreekmetroparks.org. Right back here, set three. Falcons trailing by one with the serve. Up two sets to none, though, over the Crestview Lady Rebels, looking to hand the Rebels only their second match loss this season. Riley Simons on the serve. Oh, wait, a job to get underneath it. Free ball coming over, though. From Downey, Folkwine, Simons, Roby on the swing, still alive. Crestview pushes it over. Simons gets it in the air to Diltz. The swing from Jocelyn Jordan. Downey got it on the back row. From the near side, clipped off one of the Falcons. Simons sets up far side, trying to drop it in. No, it stays alive. Afton Roby finishes it off. A soft touch is all it takes, says Roby. Find some open floor. We're even at double deuces 22. A race to three, but win by two. Crestview has the advantage, tipping it off of Jocelyn Jordan. 23 22. Grace Hour. Now to serve, Diltz, Simon, swing, Jocelyn Jordan can't get it across the fence, and Crestview, big opportunity playing for set point. Fitch can't allow a mistake, at least for now. Oh, drops in a game-winning ace on the set. What a serve by Crestview. As this one gonna at least go four sets. Crestview will not be swept in straight sets. Fitch has an opportunity to win the match here in set four. Crestview looking to force a set five. 25-22 is the score in favor of the Rebels here in set three. Ty Bartell, YSNlive.com. Don't go anywhere, folks. We're gonna be right back. Why choose local? Because you live here, work here, learn here. Relax here and celebrate here. 21 WFMJ is our Valley's only locally owned TV station. And our focus is local. Other TV stations don't have that same focus as their owners are somewhere else. But 21 WFMJ is rooted in the Valley. Local people making decisions that affect your life right here where you live. Reliability. Innovation. Scale. These three values are those we look forward to in our business and in our team. If you're ready for a reliable employer who looks constantly to think outside the box in big ways, we're ready for you. Apply now. Help us push the envelope and deliver success. Envelope one. Take that one extra step. Before the lights come on, before the workday begins, before a long day has ended, or it's time to have fun, it all starts with the people at Joe Dickey Electric. From replacing a light fixture in your home to building a substation for your business, no job is too big or too small. 
The people of Joe Dickey Electric power them all. Joe Dickey Electric, over 60 years of powering the Mahoning Valley. You can see. We know when it comes to insurance, you have so many choices. But if you're looking for someone who lives in your community, someone who cheers for your community, and someone who works for your community like you're part of our family, well then please let us introduce ourselves. Hi, we're Heiner Insurance. How can we help? Welcome back, everybody. Start of set four as the Austintown Fitch Falcons leading it two sets to one on the Crestview Lady Rebels. Crestview able to fight off the match loss in set three with a 25-22 victory, forcing this fourth set as they are going to look to force a set five to give themselves an opportunity to win the match. Falcons have a chance to win it in four, but the first swing too strong as Crestview opens up with the lead, 1-0. As the setup from Simon, swing from Jocelyn Jordan, couldn't fall in. Afton Roby, though, denies it at the net, evens things at one. Riley Simons on that serve. Swing, oh nice job blocking it. Roby staying persistent. Simon sets up Roby who tries to drop it in. Pushing it far and dropping it into the corner for the lead. 2-1 Crestview in front. As back to serve now Alyssa Smotherman. Smotherman, though, couldn't get it to cross the fence. And 2-2 the score. Folkwine now. First time featured here in set four. Again, set four. 225 points. The initial score needed to win, of course, win by two. Didn't get all of it on the swing, but Jocelyn Jordan still found a kill. Like using the wrong math formula to get the right answer anyway. Jocelyn Jordan. So good, even the swings that maybe don't have the most force behind them find ways to drop in. Four touches called on Crestview as Fitch up by two. First lead of the set for the Falcons as Folkwine, oh, what a tip off that net. Swing though, Folkwine got underneath it but came down with tremendous velocity after tipping off one of the rafters. Actually hit the rafter solid, went right up in the air and came right back down. 4-3 Fitch in front as Crestview. Chance to even things up with the serve from Black. Tipped it off the net. Jordan read it beautifully. Jordan Smith now gets the kill as Riley Simons. Impressive as a setter. Only a freshman too, folks, as she is well over 600 assists. That is the season record here in Austintown. Primed to have 2,000 in her career and not many setters that have started as a freshman in Austintown history. Swing too strong. And Fitch picks up the point, 6-3. Afton Roby to serve. Roby on the drop, the push from Grace Hour, the swing over. Simons keeps it alive. Jocelyn Jordan clips it off, one of the Rebels, and Fitch 
Up by four now here in set four. Fitch looking focused. We saw a focused Falcons team in set two where they took the initial lead and held it throughout the entire set. Fitch now up by five, starting to put the foot down, forcing Crestview into a timeout. Their first of set four will take one as well. Falcons leading eight to three. Chance to win it here in set four for the whole match. We'll be right back. We are Kent State in the Valley. Start and finish one of more than 25 bachelor's or associate degree programs or start one of Kent State's 280 majors. With low tuition, public, and plenty of scholarship opportunities, we will help you maximize your education and minimize student debt. Enjoy the benefits of a smaller campus with all the opportunities of a large university. Save money, stay close to home. Apply today by visiting kent.edu slash trumbull. Welcome back, everybody. 8-3, Falcons in front here in set one. They also lead it two sets to one over the Crestview Lady Rebels. With the serve, it's Afton Roby, third in the serve order for Fitch. Roby, Simons, Folkwine, Binion, Smith, and Jordan. The six on the court for the Falcons. Downey, Emsh, Elena, and Grace Auer. Madison Davis. As well as Downey on the court for Crestview. As Crestview will pick up a point out of the timeout. Timeout pays off for Coach Auer. As the Rebels get the score, get the serve back. And a chance to get back into this one trailing by four. Jocelyn Jordan, funky bounce off of Jordan's forearms. Results in Crestview going back to back and scores and cutting the deficit to three. Folkwine lifts it up. Simons tried to track it down, couldn't get to it in time. Three in a row now for Crestview. Out of the timeout, trailing by two. Emsh on that serve. Simon sets up Jocelyn Jordan who bangs it off one of the Rebels and drops it in again. Rebels just been a half second too late to the punch at the net. As not able to stuff it back on the Falcon side of the fence. Jordan still able to swing it through. Crestview pressure. Swing too much air underneath it from Emsh. Sees the Falcons at double digits, 10-6. 10-6 as Downey takes that first serve. Grace Hours swings it over for the Rebels. Jocelyn Jordan looks for the response. Nice measure up by Downey. Hour pushes it over. Jordan Smith, Riley Simons had to wait on it and... Jocelyn Jordan ran into the net. She kind of did a double take as she was running, trying to time up the swing and jump. Lost focus for that half second. Lost sight of where she was on the court. Touched the net. Crestview picks up the score. Nice serve. And trying to tip it right back over in the air. Dilt sends over free ball. Emsh to Grace Hour on the swing. Jordan Smith. Went way back to track that one down. Jocelyn Jordan. Riley Simons back to Jocelyn who pushes it over. Grace Hour. First contact. Tries to find the open floor again. Lily Diltz to Simons. Si or excuse me, Jordan. As Jocelyn Jordan picks up the kill off of Diltz. Lillian Diltz, unsung hero in this match tonight. She has done a phenomenal job at that libero position. Also doing a great job. She's keeping the Falcons in offensive rotation. She tried to track that one down. Couldn't get to it in time. Crestview back within three. Downey now to serve for the Lady Rebels.
Jocelyn Jordan makes initial contact. Kylie Folkwine attempts the swing. Couldn't keep it in bounds. Crestview back to back. The view with the serve. Simons keeps it alive. Binion tries to push it over. Elena Hour to Grace. Simons tries to push it over, but this time they call running into the net on the Lady Rebels. Grace Hour called for it that time. Three-point lead back for Fitch. Riley Simons twice in the match has been able to sneak a fake out on the setup over on the Rebels to find some open floor. Jordan Smith to Simons. The swing by Jocelyn Jordan. Crestview keeps it alive. Afton Roby sends it right back to the Rebels. Roby got the touch, but no one else able to get it on the third. Crestview's back within two. Rebels need this set to have an opportunity at the match. Fitch can win it early. Doesn't need to go to four, or good five sets rather. Can win it in four. Simons gets it to Diltz. Diltz on the swing from one libero to the next. Emsch tried to get it across on Roby. Sending it over on to Simons. Simons now sets up Folkwine. Folkwine couldn't get it in though. Too strong past the baseline. And Crestview back within one. Grace Hour, top of the serve order for Crestview. Into the rafters, waiting for it to drop. Oh, Simon set it up off the drop, but Abby Emsch just waiting to send the block back to the Falcons. Timeout, Fitch. One used each way, teams tied at a dozen. We'll be right back. Coca's Pizza, your high school football headquarters. Come to pregame with half off select appetizers in our dining room starting at 5 p.m. Also want to stay for the game? We'll be playing it live. That's Coca's Pizza. We serve it hot. Every customer has a story, whether it's buying a car for the first time, helping them get approved, or finding the perfect car for their budget. I'm proud that people trust me with their story. I'm Tracy, and I'm ready to go the extra mile for you, only at Greenwood Chevrolet. Welcome back, everybody. 12-12 is our score here in set four. The Austintown Fitch Falcons are leading it currently two sets to one against the Crestview Lady Rebels, Rebels with the serve. They have mounted the comeback all the way to this point, 12 to 12, after trailing throughout a large portion of the first half of set number four. Top of the serve order in Grace Hour, looking to give the Rebels the lead. Hour, the ace leader for Crestview, came into today with 90. Roby on that swing. Couldn't find some open court. Free ball sent over to the Falcons, Simons. Sets up Folkwine, who pushes it over. Black gets underneath it. Middle to Emsch. Emsch tried to find the open look. Outside swing from Jocelyn Jordan, right up in the air. Two touches, and the third touch, free ball again for Fitch. Fitch looking to take advantage. Afton Roby couldn't get it across the net, and Crestview's in front. Rebel Faithful getting loud here in Austin Town. Fitch High School as the... Lady Rebels winning set three. Now ahead here in set four, but we're right back to even at a Baker's dozen after the serving error by Hour. Riley Simons now a chance to serve for the Falcons. Top of the serve order for Fitch. Emsch got that first touch back to Emsch, but it drops in Crestview territory. Falcons defense gets to it. And it's 14-3, Falcons back in front. Simons on the serve, Emsch. And the first touch bangs around some Crestview bodies. Emsch sends over the free ball, Diltz keeps it alive. Simons 
able to get it to cross the fence. Defense comes through though. Fitch puts up a wall at the net and takes a two point lead. Trying to reclaim their lead that was as much as four points at one time. Much as five, excuse me. Trying to find, trying to keep it inbounds. Yes, point awarded to the Falcons. They say out of bounds. Second referee calls it. And the score, 16-13 for Fitch. Timeout taken on the court as well. We'll take one here on YSNlive.com. This time, thank our friends over at Joe Dickey Electric. Planning a project around your home or rental property? Trust the electrical service to the local experts with 62 years of serving the Mahoning Valley. Joe Dickey Electric is your local go-to source for responsive, reliable residential electrical work. From everyday maintenance and repairs to new installations, electrical upgrades, and safety inspections, no job is too big or too small. Call Joe Dickey Electric today, 800-549-3976, or visit DickeyElectric.com. That's DickeyElectric.com. Hello and welcome back everybody here in Austintown Fitch High School. The Falcons in front 16 to 13 and set four where if they could hold on and win would cap off a match victory currently leading it two sets to one on Crestview. Crestview able to win set three looking to get in position to win the match needing this set. That's a good way to start it if they got it. No wide right, wide left I should say from Crestview's perspective on the swing. Missing the mark. Four point lead for the Falcons. Riley Simons to Downey. Looking for Simons on that swing. Diltz gets it to Jordan. Jordan able to send over a free ball to Crestview. Trying to take advantage. They'll have another opportunity. They set it up. The swing. Our no Simons to Diltz. Jocelyn Jordan measures it up. Sends it across the fence. Swing coming. Diltz. Keeps the volley alive. This time Folkwine rides it down the sideline, but Crestview there to find it. The swing, the kill. Abby Emsch for the Rebels. Back within three, Crestview climbs. Serving now, Smotherman, the serving specialist. And Smotherman, curveball-esque serve, no movement. Oh, that one takes a wicked bounce and almost measured it up and able to send it over that time. Downey did a great job reading it, but so hard to predict once it goes into those rafters on where it's going to end up, especially when you lose sight of it. Folkwine to Downey. Four-point lead back for the Falcons. Trying to send it over, keeping it on the line, tipped by Fitch. And Crestview's back within three. Madeline Black now to serve for Crestview. As too strong on the serve attempt by Black. And a 19-15 lead. Fitch needs six for the match win. Crestview. Trailing by four. Trying to force a set five. Keeps it on the Falcons' side. <laughs> Sits on Jordan Smith's shoulder. <laughs> Prior to dropping in. 19-16. Lead for Fitch. Serve for Crestview. Abby M. Sean it. Oh, great job at the net. That time winning the battle as Madison Davis. Gets it over on Simons. Two point deficit for Crestview. Emsh on the serve. Setting up Jocelyn Jordan trying to bang it off. Whistle blown point to the Falcons. Touching the net, Crestview commits the violation. Fitch needs five. Crestview trails by three. Jordan Smith, the serve for the Falcons. Nice job getting underneath it, Downey. 
Swing, oh, ties up, Dilt. Crestview back within two. And rotating the Rebels, making their substitutions. 2018, Fitch in front. Simon sets up Jocelyn Jordan with another kill. Jordan from the right side that time picked up the kill. Jocelyn Jordan on the serve. Grace Hour on that first touch. Grace Hour able to bring it down and respond with a kill of her own. Grace Hour, very impressive this season as well. Over 250 kills for number four on the Rebels. Downey with a serve for Crestview. A quietness takes over the gym for the time being. Folkwine, the free ball. Downey, Elena Auer, the tip off the net. Off one of the Falcons, Crestview's back within one. Twenty-one twenty. Fitch in front. Rebels looking for the tie, trailing by one. Riley Simons, though, what a big score for Fitch. Simons, caller Wiley Riley, with that great fake out move, another time. Call it three now. Simons has snuck a point past the Rebels defense. Downey on that first touch. Fitch up by two. Just rainbowed it over the Falcon defense. And Crestview back within one. Grace Hour. On the serve for Crestview. Jocelyn Jordan, first touch, trying to bring down the swing. Kylie Folkwine denies it, but it drops in Crestview territory, and Fitch picks up a key score as they lead by two, get it to the top of the serve order, needing two for the match win. Nice serve by Simons, had to rush in to keep it alive. Free ball opportunity, though, for Fitch. Folkwine set up on the swing. Tried to attack back row. Cut off. Pushing it over. Folkwine on the first touch. This time sets up Jordan Smith. And it goes off of the net and drops out of bounds. Crestview back within one. 23-22. Fitch in front. Smotherman with the serve. Dilts. Simon sends it over again on two. Another fake out. The freshman phenom, Riley Simons. Two scores late in set four. Fitch playing for match point, 24-22. Ace queen this season, Kylie Folkwine with the serve. Downey underneath it. Grace Hour sets up that swing. Folkwine to Simons, no one got to it at the net as it clips the net and falls. Fitch can still win it on this touch. Crestview needs this point to force extra points here in Austin Town set four. Dilts, Simons, Jocelyn Jordan! The exclamation point, a four set victory for the Falcons as they hand the Crestview Rebels their second, only their second match loss of the season as Jocelyn Jordan quite literally was impressive as that win is also a hundred career wins now for coach Jody Bartlett and Jody Bartlett only a head coach for the Austintown Falcons for six years as Bartlett has now captured her 100th victory as the head coach for Austintown with Fitch's 17th victory here tonight.
as Jocelyn Jordan caps it off a 25-23 set for winner for the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. Your set scores as follows. 25-19 Fitch takes set one. 25-18 Fitch winners in set two. 25-22 the Austin Town Fitch Falcons drop it to the Crestview Rebels in set three. And set four, it's a 25-23 slim victory for the Austin Town Fitch Falcons. Three to one, your match score for Fitch as they are winners here today. They go to 17 and two on the season now for the Lady Rebels. Their loss now drops them to 18 and two on the campaign. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in and watching this broadcast of YSN Live Volleyball to our proud owners, both DJ Yokely and Brian Scott. We're able to bring this game to each and every person unable to make it in attendance tonight. To our GM, Steve Leslie, who with his work with Bob Seen Park Baseball, YSU Football, YSNlive.com, and a multitude of other things involved in this area. We thank Steve Leslie for all of his involvement for not only in YSN, but all of the Mahoning Valley. And most importantly to all of you who tuned in and helped support these kids, schools, and communities, you guys are really and truly what YSN Live is all about. And so we thank you. If you're tuning in from the Columbiana Crestview community supporting your Lady Rebels from afar, we want to thank you for your constant support of not only Rebels Athletics, but also of YSNlive.com. If you're right here in the Austintown, Ohio community supporting your Austintown Fitch Lady Falcons, we want to thank you for tuning in and con your constant support of not only Austintown Fitch Athletics, but also YSNlive.com or wherever you may be in high school volleyball. This is Ty Bartell bidding you all a farewell and a good night, everybody. YSN thanks you for watching this presentation of Your Sports Network. For stories, stats, and more, go to ysnlive.com.